from the National in Chicago. Uh, we are doing historic autographs number two. And I know it says number one on this page right there, but we're actually doing historic autograph swag number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So a big thanks to everybody right here for getting out of the action. And remember, the items are numbered one through six. Historic Autographs is nice enough to actually label them one through six for us already. So this will be very easy. There were two inner cases right here. Here's the second inner case from that master that we popped open. So let's just pull out the items first, just so you can get a look at what might be in there. This one feels a little bit lighter could be a redemption inside. Sometimes for like the larger items, they'll put redemptions in there. All right. So let's see what we got. There's item four. Item six. Item one. Another, uh, looks like another autographed baseball. Item two. We've got item five. And looks like there's a jersey right here. And that is item three. Right there, okay, excellent. I'll use the same box to save your hits. So that's easy, they already labeled it for us. How nice of them. Thanks, Historic Autos. All right, one through six. Let me switch back to the other screen. Matt saying, uh, Matt Sumsky saying, this has gotta be a fun break for you. It is actually. You see, you get a bunch of live hits that are pretty nice, something that we don't see all the time. And it's an easy break too. Very easy for me which I always like. Okay, here we go. Let's randomize each list, names and numbers, item numbers, seven times. Six and a one, lucky seven. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Anthony on the pole and Scott Smith in the number six spot after seven times. Let's get the names right here. And we'll go seven times for the item numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we have item five on top, item three on the bottom. expand the font a little bit so everyone can read there we go all right so Anthony item five Mike item four Matt item six Ken item two uh, Mike item one with your last spot mojo star next to your name and Scott item three so let's sort by column B so we'll do it in numerical order all right so Mike of course with your last spot mojo you had item one good luck So let's see what's in item one. Item one is over here. Item one looks like a sealed item here. Oh, it's a historic autographs. Five Burroughs signed baseball edition. I don't know what could be in here. Yeah, it's got all the five Burroughs. All right, well, we'll leave it sealed so you can do whatever you want with it. Maybe even open. I think Mike is actually picking up from the National, so you can come right by the booth, pick it up if you feel like opening it. We'd like to know what's inside, Mike Range. Okay. So nice one there. Ken Saito, you've got number two. Uh, item two for Ken would be the baseball. Now, I'm not very good at identifying autographs, so I'm going to uh, need the help 
of some folks here. We've got the JSA and the JSA sticker again right here. And we've got, oh, is that another Barry Larkin? I think we saw one in break number one. So I'm almost certain that's another Barry Larkin right there. You can see the L and the K right there. All right, so another Barry Larkin autograph. I don't think the same person got the both of them, so that's good. There you go, Ken. So that was a box two. Sub Elite, what's going on? Michael G, we got four of these. Uh, Scott Smith, you have number three. Item three is what appears to be the jersey. Purple jersey right here. Oh, you got Dolman here. Nice. Hall of Fame. Nice. They got a Hall of Fame autographs in here. Do they have the... Uh, look at the sleeves here. Yeah, they got the number on the sleeves right here, too. That's pretty cool. Yep, there you go. You got the Vikings trim right there as well. Nice. All right. So that was... Item number three, and that was for Scott Smith. Item number four, Mike Range again. Mike will be picking up here at the National. Let's see what your other one is gonna be. So item four from Mike. Feels like a, a cut auto or something like that, something slab. Not sure if I. There it is, Reggie Lewis cut autograph, PSA DNA. Not that. I was like, is it gonna be that? No, it's Reggie Lewis. I was like, it can't be that. There it is. Reggie Lewis cut auto. For Mike, we have two items left, five and six. Number five is for Anthony T. There's number five right there, Anthony T. Five looks like the photo. I don't know what this is. This is kind of small. Uh, item five. There it is. This should be the photo. And Gaylord Perry. Nice. There he's right there. That's a cool hat. I dig that. And there is the authentication on the back. Nice. That was item five for Anthony T. And last but not least would be Matt Yandel with item number six. Good luck, Matt. So I don't know what this is. This is on the small side. And historic autos could have some kind of fun, quirky stuff here. Whoa, nice. There you go, 1895. Wow. I know that I, they had coins in here. There you go. You got the official grading right here. I don't know what the grading system is, but it's got that. Nice. That is so cool. Is that, I guess it's a $5 coin? Let me finish this break, Brett, and I'll get to you, man. Nice. Yeah, a $5 gold coin right there. That is awesome. Let me try to get a close-up right here. Get a better close-up here. I think this is, a little, you might be able to see a little more detail. That is awesome.
trying to catch the light a little bit so you can see the coin a little bit better. That is awesome right there, folks. Well, that's the kind of stuff you can get out of Historic Autos. This was break number two. Number three coming up next. We'll see you next time live from the National in Chicago, folks. See you later.